Now you guys know that this season, uh, starting pretty early, right, I've been trying to straighten up and shop around here a little bit. And I want to use my tractor. And of course, any chance I get, guys, to fool around with my Simplicity Sunstar and use it and whatever. And I got those forks, and so I'm going to actually be deploying them. I just wanted to show you guys that, just because I'm having fun. And to inspire you guys out there in the YouTube land, because I'm a YouTuber. I don't just make videos, I watch them. And I have to watch my own, which is like the worst part. Anyway, I like to make videos sometimes that are fun and or just kind of just different. And I don't care how many people view it, right? That's uh, There's a hobby in this. And there's fun in it. And I've been cleaning it up. And I'll show you guys what I did. And, you know, to inspire you. And then maybe some of you guys can like pat me on the back and go, good job, Arch. That'd be nice. There's all kinds of uses for the forks I built. <sighs> Loading up some garbage wet plywood that got ruined. It's really heavy, it's really wet, and I got more. So I'm just gonna drag it out to the street like this. This, I just did the roof on this, on the sm smaller section. This was up there, I guess, from the last owner. It's just a piece of crap. So what we're doing here is I'm gonna put it down over there, and it's sort of sacrificial. But the thinking is, right, well, to put this whole coil on, I'll go get, my buddy gave me some nice, some of those nice uh, shelves that I've been putting up that I've shown on occasion on my channel. I got one where the tent used to be. That tent fell apart, and I don't like what it's doing tonight. The, the T-111 of my shed, because it's trapping moisture, so that's gotta go. So I think it'll be enough out of the sun where let's say we put some motors, you know, that uh, that we could just, you know, motors that maybe I'm uh, not ready to use, um, that are still together, that are still intact, and they'll be up off the dirt. Anything to hide some stuff back here. So it's not even, you know, it's not level. Of course, it's pitched that way, which is I graded it like this to be pitched more to the center. It's away from the building. That's my fence, I made that. It was covered in ivy. Everything in here is getting fully, you know, over ivied. So I cleaned all that off. And we'll just have to figure out, we might want to mount, it's too bad, I would like to get maybe two of those shelves here, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So we'll get at least one. And we'll probably have to put something to level the shelf for sure, a brick or something. So I'm gonna go wipe this on and uh, it's good because it's dry, right? We got a lot of wind coming today. Most likely we're coming into the rainy season soon. So this piece is at least dry. Let me go mop that on. Load number two. All right, so I clean up this area here. We're gonna move some of this stuff. You can see how quick it, you know, everything blows up. Um, that skid was there. That's a nice plastic one I picked up. I got a couple of nice more skids, scrap, wood. Mikey brought me these, All right? So this is stuff everywhere. Um, these we're gonna scrap and take some cool stuff off them a little bit. You know, you gotta clean up, right? So no money involved in any of this stuff. That's scrap, well that's actually, I'm gonna cut some stuff off of that. This one, it's got a couple of little holes in it, but I think we can restore this one. I actually need one. And this is also scrap, uh, useful for cutting material off because it's not in terrible shape. Um, might even want to look a little closer at this one when we go to deal with it. I've pulled off all the parts uh, intentionally because we use whatever we used and then the rest is garbage. Here's what I came up with. So everything is oiled. I also oiled along the fence line to try to kill off more of the ivy, deal with some of the mold I've been doing it down there as well, and I was able to stop a lot of the rot that forms in this area. So that's good. Um, we got more rot coming here. I got a lot of rot. You know, it's it's just, it gets dark back here. Guys, it's just some tips and inspiration to work with what you have. The oil's not a problem. By the way, if you look, I don't know if you looked at, look at this fence, you see a lot of green hue in that. 
That's because a lot of those, I made that, that was like mormonized. That's copper arsenic, okay? It's a poison. So anybody saying, oh, you're poisoning the ground with oil, you know, oil is a relatively, if there's no weird chemicals in it, it's a natural product, and there's mold that eats it. It will disappear. I'll tell you, to, adding those forks to the front, all I had to do is just extend them out a little bit more, and it gets them out to about four feet, which is enough to support. And of course, I widened them because they're on those pipes. So my neighbor was throwing out some fencing. It's not great, but it might be enough to do my little garden area or whatever. And he's got some more, and the, the po some of the posts are decent. So I'm going to have a couple of posts, and he's happy because he's going to have to drag it to the dump. So he and his wife is a new neighbor. You know, my Dutch friend, Miller. What's up, Miller? Uh, he likes to say, is she hot? To which I say, what? Is she hot? Hot. You know, hot. Hot. And he'll just keep saying that. And I'll be like, what? What are you talking about, Miller? I, I can't understand. I don't understand him. He's Dutch. Uh, so what he's saying is, is she's hot? Is she hot? Is she hot? Not hot. Right? That's what I get out of it. And really, when you think about it, right, I think that, I think there's this old saying is that thou shalt not, not, how do you say that? Thou shalt not think thy neighbor's wife is hot, right? Is that how it goes? I think that's how it goes. I think, isn't, isn't that like, is it like in the Bible or something? Thou shalt not think thy neighbor's wife is hotteth. I mean, that's what they look like when they're extended. Um, you don't get as much power when they're extended like that, but it's enough to, to hold up what I need to hold up. And it's simple to do. I just extract them out and tighten the bolts up a little. The next day. Wow, just like, kind of like blocking that area off a little bit more. That's kind of nice, just even just in this area. Another load, this is the last load. I did a load last night, which I don't think I showed. It was another one. And... You know, just a bunch of, a lot of it's just junk, but there's still a lot here, and depending upon whether or not, like I said, I want a four-footer, these are full sheets, and I've got at least one full sheet here, and maybe two, or the potential for making two, one for sure. Um, these might be a little shorter, though, but these are full, and uh, these are not terrible. I got one, two, three, and there's pieces of a fourth, which is mostly there, missing some slots, but they need stringers. And over here, I got more posts. And I'll go through the rest of them. There's more over there. Um, what's weird is some of these rotted. I'm thinking these were not pressure treated because normally you don't get rot, especially most of this is in sand. Like these are some of these are really, one of them is really lightweight. And I got a couple of really good posts over there. I got to look up and see what they are right now. Um, they used to be about six to ten dollars a piece. What are they now? I don't know. I got to look. What are you doing? Are you hot? Huh? Are you just gonna... This is what you're gonna do? You know, you're not, not planning on anything else? No? Not me either. Hold this table out to do a little bit of denailing and de-lousing. Tons of brackets I got. Some big ones too. Looks like one was custom made. Managed to get this area cleaned up a little bit. Stacking my junk. Put the old girl away, or big boy, or I don't know, I haven't really named it. So this is how I usually use it, and store it, and they go back together again. It's all adjustable. With chains and rigging, and I try to keep it. I'd like to see if I could mount a toolbox somewhere to it. Just like something where I can have some basic stuff, so I don't have to go running around and leave shit in the yard. My guess is they cheaped out or something, and they used more of a decking 4x4. be my guess. That is different. Uh, price is now about 13 bucks for a 4x. For about 7 you can get a landscape tie, which is what you really should use, which is, you know, the rounded, rounded ends and then the two flats. And they're about 6 and change, so figure 7, figure 8 bucks with tax. I got quite a number of boards of these things, though. I got, what, 3 here. I got another 3. So it's about 30 feet. I'll need new stringers for the most part. Probably just put them on new stringers anyway because these stringers are shot. And whatever stringers are good, we can I can use to kind of like tidy up and tighten up. And it's stored out of the way, it gave me a chance to get in here, these lilacs. This is a whole row of lilacs at one point. 
when I moved in, and they died. I think because of the three dogs were in them all the time. So I managed to get one of these to grow. It's a Rosa Sharon. They're all over the place. And I got a big tree growing. I wanted to take it down and ask my neighbor, but, you know, nobody pays attention. They think these things stay small forever. And I think that's it. It's a good cleanup. Let's just go take another little walk. And I wanted to show you guys something, so we're going to just take a quick peek in the back. Stand by. I got to fix the gate. I'm going to tidy it up a little bit. It just needs a little tidying up, especially because it's got broken down there. I think the wind hit it. So we need to reinforce that. I think I'll just oil it too. And I got to put on a new latch. It's on an angle, so I had to make something, but it broke. Something happened. So we got to fix that. And so I came in here. I did a little bit more work back here. I just kind of have to run the rake over it real quick. But you see, I managed to get some of the motors. I got a lot of them in the basement, in both my basements, and in the shed. And I wanted to kind of put the two racks here, and I think I can fit them, uh, but the ladder's in the way. So I said, you know, worst case scenario is we just kind of rig this up for now, and I can always come back and, and tweak another time. But, you know, winter's coming, fall's coming, and we need to get back here and do a few things. Everything is going to get in real beat and soft, and... Uh, there, there was a lot of ivy back here, and I want to get that ivy off. You can see how much ivy. That's that's no good. Although this is cedar, so this is going to be a little bit more robust and it can handle it. But mine can't. Right? My building can't. Not to mention this building fell down, and I had to prop it back up. And I removed this whole wall, and we put flying buttresses in. I did that. Yeah, just to kind of inspire you guys. You know what? You do a little bit at a time. Pretty big. Somebody made this. Good for air hoses. This might even be good for the ladder that I want to move out back. Look at all these brackets. Some of them got a little bit bent, you know, like shelving brackets and what have you. This is neat. Right. This is actually in excellent shape. That's like brand new. There's like a something in there, a piece of junk. Gate. I don't know where the other part is. Just some random rando hardware. But I had pulled that off so I could stack everything, and it was just in the way. Let me go put this stuff away. It's all useful stuff. I mean, you know, you know just... Put it in my hoard. All right, I got a little bit more cleaned up in here. All right, I'm going to pull out a few things a little bit, and we're going to get to this guy, if you can see it. Um, but in here, right, I, I got a little bit more cleaned up as well. And especially this area here. This is just a complete row of filth and bolts and yuck. And after condensing it down, I just have some rando bolts that I keep in here. These are like Briggs bolts and quarter 20. You know, most of the stuff's put away, but <clears throat> if I'm just searching for a rando bolt, I can just look in there. And I have drawers filled with them. I got this cleaned off a little bit more. And like I said, I got drawers full of stuff. I have stuff everywhere. Now, my friend Kerf, right, he, he says that it, what he thinks is that, like, the Dutch, they kind of have, like, a, a lot of phlegm in their throat. And, it, you know... They kind of speak, and it's kind of phlegmy. It could be. Right? It could be from, like, dairy and stuff like that. But, you know, speaking of somebody that speaks, like, with a lot of phlegm in their throat, or a lot of shit coming out of their mouth, right, is this guy. Now, if you don't know who that guy is, you're going to find out. Zikolvai Kranke. Right? That guy's scary. He's, like, he's like out of central casting. I mean, like, out of, like, a Bond movie or something like that. Right? If you don't know who he is, you are going to find out. More on that another time. I'm happy, guys. I had some fun. I got things cleaned up. And, well, you know, what can I say, right? Uh, you, you have to do things a little bit at a time. Look, when I think about all the work that I put into things, and I, I'm thinking about moving, right? I want to go down south, get out of here. It's too crazy here. It's just, it's crazy everywhere. But it's like, go to someplace maybe a little less crazy. And I think about all the work and everything I put into here, and I'm like, oh, my God. But they're forcing people like me out. It's just too expensive. Uh, but in the meantime, that doesn't mean I'm going to just let everything go and not take care of the stuff and make things a little bit more streamlined. And it feels better, right? It feels, it's almost like taking like a good, right? Where you get things like cleaned up and you kind of sit back or you get up off the bowl and you're like, ah, I'll see you guys on the next one.